Turkish Prime Minister, once again, Erdogan, is calling for the Islamic world to take action against Israel. Nothing new, but his words, so he, he said this several months ago, and he says it often. Turkey. Turkey is biblical uh, when it comes to understanding the signs of the times, understanding uh, the siege on Jerusalem, uh, the countries that will be involved in that uh, takeover, that will, in essence, be one element that draws the Savior to the Mount of Olives. Now, what's interesting is that most people have taken that and separated those events because of Christ. We believe in Christ's several, um, his several comings to the earth, some in private and some in public, <clears throat> some to the leaders. Uh, we believe in Adam on Diamond. We don't know if that has taken place yet or not. Uh, and, but it will be hidden from the world because he is God and he can do that, right? But one of these events that draws the Savior to the Mount of Olives, it's interesting because President Nelson said in a conference talk a, to a, conference talk a couple years ago <clears throat> that he will be uh, dressed in red apparel. Now, many scholars have taken that and said, no, when he comes to the Mount of Olives, uh, that will be different than when he destroys the wicked. He will be in red when he destroys the wicked. President Nelson said that they're one and the same. Could that, so even though that's kind of irrelevant to what I'm talking about, but it's interesting, <clears throat> are we mistaken that? When he comes and he rescues the Jews, which will be almost, a, I think, three quarters of, of the Jews will be annihilated. They will be, it will be bad. It will be bad. I really feel, in my heart of hearts, that the Savior will be here within the next 20 years, if not way sooner. That is my opinion. That is not a prophecy. I'm not... One to I don't have the authority to prophesy of things like that. I am just guesstimating uh, just by the signs of the times, uh, what's going on around me, like everyone else, that this is a, a possibility. Now back to Erdogan. And wait, so Christ comes, President Nelson said in red apparel to the Mount of Olives. Could that mean that right after that proceeding, uh, that he will destroy the wicked on the earth. Will there be will there be that purging of the earth? Will that be when the earth is tempered? No, the earth will be tempered. I believe after the millennium it will be tempered to become a a, a sea of like unto glass or a big Urim and Thummim crystallized courts. Think about that. And I bring that up because I took Rod Meljum's three hour and 20 minute video and split it up into seven, seven sub clips. And I'm releasing the first one today. It's amazing. So that you guys can take that three hour and 20 minute video and get it in little bites, little bites. And I, I took a while and I, 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 I made them into different topics and subjects. So seven videos. All right, back to this. So Erdogan is saying, uh, calling on the Islamic world, saying, what are you waiting for? Now, he's, like I said, let's go back to what I said. He said this in the past, but there's something different. And the difference is, is that the Islamic world is listening. And that is frightening one thing that Joel Skousen has said that uh, 
made sense to me. And we know this from the Old Testament and from the pride cycle is that the, the children of Israel were, were not necessarily righteous when God was dealing with them, right? We know that. And that they're not, Jerusalem is not a righteous place. There's a lot of different types of people there. There are agnostics, there are atheists, there are Orthodox Jews, there are uh, there are uh, Christians, there are uh, Messianic Jews, not as many, there are uh, liberal Jews, there are conservative Jews, but not Orthodox, there are uh, uh, what do you call them? Oh my goodness. They're like Orthodox Jews, but they're a little bit more kind of like the ones in the Bronx in, in New York. Uh, I can't remember, but put it in the comments section. Let me know. Uh, so there's many different types of people. There are, uh, there, there are, there's gay and lesbian people there. Are, there's the LGBTQ community. It's like, it's like New York city. Okay. But it's the Holy land. Will the house of Israel, will the will the will the tribe of Judah, uh, and it, not everyone's the tribe of Judah there, uh, will they be righteous when the Savior comes? Not necessarily. Could there be, uh, and and the people in Gaza are not any more righteous or wicked than those people in Israel. Now, Hamas, in my opinion, is not a good organization. Could Zionism also be part of making backroom deals with, you know, and these are just theories that I've heard. In other words, let's take the most wickedest scenario um, and say that, there, that, that a lot of what uh, triggered this war was, uh, was that like a, a, a Jekyll Island type of situation? And many of you are like, what's Jekyll Island? I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Was this planned? We know that groups like Al-Qaeda and, and Hamas and uh, the Taliban and uh, not, not just Al-Qaeda, but... Uh, oh my goodness. All of the, the... A lot of them were created theoretically by the CIA. So <clears throat> there is there nuances in the wickedness? Yes. But does that take away, here's my point, rambling Troy. Does that take away, that's why I need, I need a script. I, I script everything and then I I lay it all out and it, like I've got all this information and, and I have to take it and get all my ducks in a row and then I go to you guys. I, and, uh, but anyway, Oh, does that mean that God's, uh, and what back to what Joel Skousen said, God's uh, covenant that he made with them, does that still stand? Absolutely. Why? Because he loveth his children and he loveth the tribes of Israel. And we need Jerusalem because it's symbolic. It's hyperbolic. It means something. It's God keeping his promises. So that's very important symbolically for us to see that the Lord is is the same today, yesterday, and, and uh, yesterday, today, and forever. And that he keepeth his word, even to the wicked house of Israel. Let us pray for Jerusalem. Let us hope that Erdogan's words, but is it inevitable? Is this something that has to happen? Will it be the Islam nations that that bring this about? Think of it. Are we confusing the the uh, Gog and Magog with maybe Russia and China? Is that Gog and Magog? Are we seeing? Are we thinking that something's going to happen now that possibly won't, and it'll be something bigger? Will it be the United Nations that takes them out and and agrees with? Uh, is, is there going to be a, uh, to take a spoil, right? Hooking, hooking, Gog and Magog. 
will will there be a pact? Will there be a, a an alliance between maybe the European Union and the United Nations and and the Islamic nations? Uh, we've seen things in the past from wicked uh, leaders, people in high places, the tyranny, right? You can visualize something like this happening. It's 50 years ago, we were like, that's eons away. How could the nations of the earth come against Israel? We can see it now. So whether Israel is right or wrong in what they're doing, they have the right to protect themselves from Gaza. Gaza did fire rockets for years and years and years. I mean, this has been going on for, what, 15 plus years, even more, um, for a while. Uh, I'm talking about how, how it's gotten really bad. I mean, uh, And then who are the Palestinian people, really? Uh, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad for everyone. But I would, the point of this video is let's not take Erdogan's words lightly. And could this be the siege on Jerusalem that will start in the Valley of Megiddo, uh, not very far from the Gaza Strip, uh, on the West Bank, somewhere around there. And then uh, Bruce R. McConkie says that it will escalate and it will progress into Jerusalem as before. Do we have to have the third temple built before? Many say yes. By the way, I will be speaking at the firm conference this October. And I'm thinking that um, my uh, theme will be other sheep I have. I'm getting into that a little bit, folks. So look for the flood uh, clip, seven videos series. The series is called uh, The Baptism of a Young Earth. I think that's what it is. I'm not in front of it, but yeah, that's the name of the series. And there's seven of them. I took that big old huge video and cut it up into bite pieces. So don't go watch the big one. Watch my clips that I'm putting out. They're more exciting. Thank you. Well, because you can digest them, right? Bye. And pray for Israel. Pray for Gaza. Pray for the world. Pray for all those in war-torn situations. And we're commanded to pray for the Savior's arrival. Now I'm going to go to the dentist. And they're going to pull five teeth, four teeth. And then two weeks from now, they're going to pull five teeth. And then two more weeks, they're going to pull five more. And then they're going to go from there. So I might be a grandpa. Grandpa! I might be doing, welcome to the last dispensation. Y'all living in it. Yeah! <laughs>